Hello, I am Bentham and this is some more Kerbal Space Program and hopefully this time it will be better. Um, so let's just jump straight in. I, I can't think of anything to say this time about the, the general goings on of the universe. So we've got our pod again. Today we're going to, to, to do more stuff. We'll, we'll try doing multi-stages and things like that. Okay, so we will we'll get a decoupler this time. So this time the pod will be able to... Oh, that's not right. The pod can go separately from everything else. We'll stick our parachutes on it. And then let's get some mystery goo containment units. Stick two of them on there like that. Looks quite nice. Maybe a bit higher up. I don't want them to hit the ground first or anything like the corners of them. Put them on there and then we'll get some communitrons as well. Put those on. And then what else shall we have? I'm not sure whether we'll go to orbit with this. Might just go into space. What did they do in the real space program? I think they... They had Mercury, and Mercury... It definitely went to space, but I'm not... I think it orbited, at least by the end it orbited. But then they did Gemini, and Gemini was all really cool stuff about... stuff. I don't know. Um, how do we do this? Actually, let's not do that. We will put boosters. We'll put three of them. And hopefully this won't overheat and explode, but it is possible. So this can launch us up to start with, and then we switch to... If I, I'll set it up on here. So these three boosters fire, and then this decouples, the engine in there fires, and then this decouples, and then the parachute goes. And we'll call this Mercury 1. That should be nice. Um, I wonder if we'll have Jebediah this time, I'm not sure. Have I missed anything important? That would be quite embarrassing, considering there are barely any parts. Yeah, that looks good. And now, through the magic of editing, there will be no loading time. Ooh. Here we are on the launch pad. That was magic, wasn't it? I bet it was really nice for you. That, that loading time was ridiculous. Well, I mean, I'm assuming I cut it out. If I haven't, then it's going to be really embarrassing, because I did just sit in total silence while waiting for the thing to load. Um, okay. So, ooh, all these different resources, and not many of any of them. Okay, so put the SAS on, and we'll throttle up ready, because when we fire the second engine, we'll, we'll want it to have throttle. Yeah, we've got Jebediah again. Okay, let's go! Whee! That's noisy. I hope you can still hear me. I think I've improved the sound quality since last time by moving the microphone away from my face a little bit, because listening back to it, it was painful to hear how close my I was to the mi That's overheating. Oh dear. I can't stop that because that's how solid fuel boosters work. This is going to be an explosion. Okay. Right. Well, at least they both exploded. If one of them had if one of them exploded and the other one had cooled down, we would have had a problem. Well, we can deal with this. I mean, we're not accelerating. Oh, now we are. So, yeah, I suppose that went well, generally. I mean, there were explosions, but overall, I think it went well. Let's keep on flying up. And stage that, and find the next rocket. Whee! And off we go into possibly space. I don't know if we'll get there. Hmm, maybe. We'll go to the map view. Let's see. Get all this stuff up. Look at this, all this cool data. We weigh six tons. It's quite something. I think we might make it to space. We've used up more than half the fuel there, but th we've still got the entirety of this tank. And we are going at quite some speed. Quite some g-force as well, it's approaching 3g. As the atmospheric resistance reduces, our acceleration increases, and gets more uncomfortable for Jebediah, who does not care. In fact, let's look at what it's like from inside. Here we are. That is... That is very fast, approaching Mach 3. Except, I, the, I think the max speeds change at different altitudes because air resistance and things. All this cool dials and stuff. Our vertical speed is fast. Very fast. As in off the, off the scale. Okay, so we are now approaching 7G. And our fuel's running out. 
Okay. And we're almost in space already, so yeah, this is definitely... Oh my. Oh dear, this is a longer flight than it's supposed to be. I mean, it is still only like a 15 minute flight, but that is a long way up. I mean, <laughs> that's probably further away, like... If you put this to scale with Earth, that is further away than any man has been from Earth since the the 1970s, which is really quite depressing. I think that's right. I think the ISS isn't quite that high. Because it's basically because no one has been anywhere but the ISS and the Hubble Space Telescope for years. Something I'm not happy about. We should go to space more. Anyway, how's Jeb doing? Still floating on up. Well, let's warp a bit. Oh, we're throttled up. Let's get rid of that and do some warping. Off we go. We. It's so beautiful. And we have reached the top, so we will do a crew report. It's very round. Surprising, isn't it? Okay, we will transmit, and now we'll get the the mystery goo. See what the mystery goo thinks about everything. The goo feels right at home here. Good to hear it. I'm glad it's comfortable. Um, oh, I know what we can do. Just hop out. And let go. Do an EVA report. We've recorded our observations. Interesting data. I will keep that, because we've used up all our transmission power. We'll get back inside. Let's see, what else can we do? Oh, we can do another crew report. We'll wait till we're back in the atmosphere, because it'll be different then. And we'll do the same with the mystery goo. We'll do the mystery goo t thing when, we, when we're when we re-entering. Which could be quite an interesting experience, because we are going straight down at speed from quite the height. Okay, so arriving in the atmosphere, let's do the mystery goo test. The goo seems to be getting very cold now. Surely it would be warming up, seeing as we've just come from space to the atmosphere. I think it's assuming that I've just arrived there from the ground. Okay, so we will keep that. Um, and we will do a crew report. Oh, he does not care. Oh, because he already did upper atmosphere in the previous one. We have learned all we can about the upper atmosphere. That's some re-entry flames. Let us turn a bit and then decouple and get away from that booster. Because now we're all aerodynamic and stuff. Well, we're not, because I've strapped these massive things on the side. But other than that, we're quite aerodynamic. Now, when I look up, the um, the frame rate increases. It's at 30 now, and if I do this, it's at 12. Oh, dear. I will deploy the parachute. Forgot to do that earlier. What was the G-force? I always forget to check it when it's actually happening, and then... In hindsight, I wonder how high it was. You'll be able to see. Check back. Then I get higher audience retention. There goes the booster. Kind of worryingly close to us. I mean, it is miles away, but in, in space terms, that is very, very close. That will, That's what would have happened to us if we didn't have this parachute. And down we go. I did not start the episode timer because I'm an idiot. So now I have no idea how long this has been. Oop. And bonk. This time no explosions. Well, there was one earlier, but that's not important. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. We can get out. And we can fall over and get up. Well done. And we'll do an EVA report, I think. Yes, yeah, spacesuit was not necessary. We're in the highlands now. We can do highland science. This is dirt and grass and some small rocks. You suspect this isn't going to be much of a groundbreaking discovery. I beg to differ. We're getting nine science from this. I don't know who is making... who who is doing science with this and how this can possibly help to build better rockets, but I'm not going to question it because we get better rockets. So we'll recover the vessel. Oh, knocking the microphone. Professional me. And I forgot to stop talking during the loading screen, so well done me again. We got a lot of science there, so we've now got 50 science. So what to get? Um, okay, so we could unlo unlock one of these two, or both of these two. Hmm. 
What does this get us? A cockpit, winglets, pro body, stay putnik. I like the name. Um, reaction wheels. Oh, but here we ah, I like this. This is the the science junior. And then we've got oh batteries as well. Yeah, we're definitely getting this. Okay, we're going to buy that. So that has given us the um, the science junior set, which will help us do lots and lots of science. Um, that comms thing, which is actually, I think, useless, because I think it transmits quicker, but it uses more power than the the normal thing. So it is pointless, really, because you've got all the time in the world to transmit science stuff, usually. And then batteries, which mean we can transmit more than one thing in an entire flight. And also, it's just kind of important, because power. If you run out of power on a spaceship, it's generally not good. Here's a little science fact for you. Um, not science, space fact. Uh, let, let's see what happened. Yes, um, the Mir sp um, space station um, once had no power because they accidentally crashed one of their um, supply ships into one of the modules. And it was the power module. And in order to um, save them all from dying, because th there was a hole breach in there, they had to cut all of the power lines um, connecting the module to the rest of the station so that they could close the door and so the entire station went dead and started tumbling well done Russians I mean generally Mir was a, a decent station I mean when they, they managed to build a station ages before America did but it, it had a lot more problems than the ISS anyway um, that that's your KSP and a nice little science fact for you by the way, the Mir station was fine. Nobody died. I mean, they, they were pretty scared, but they fixed it in the end. <laughs> so yeah, that was marginally better than previously, and hopefully the sound quality was improved. Because I'm, I'm really having some trouble with this. If only, if only I started sooner, before my headset broke, and then the sound would be amazing. It, the, that microphone was so good. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling on about everything. Um, so, that is your episode. However long it may have been, I do not know. Um, I will see you next time. And, bye. I still haven't come up with a better... Damn it. Yeah.